Larry Nasser dodges attack by father of three victims in court. The enraged father of three daughters who were sexually abused by Larry Nasser dramatically lunched at the former USA gymnastics doctor during a sentencing hearing on Friday. Michigan court guards pinned down Randall Margraves before he could attack Nasser. The chaotic scene began after sisters Lauren and Madison Margraves had finished reading their victim statements on the second day of hearings at a court in Eaton County. Standing alongside his daughters and wife, Randall Margraves asked to speak. The enraged father of three daughters who were sexually abused by Larry Nasser dramatically lunched at the former USA gymnastics doctor during a sentencing hearing on Friday. Michigan court guards pinned down Randall Margraves before he could attack Nasser. The chaotic scene began after sisters Lauren and Madison Margraves had finished reading their victim statements on the second day of hearings at a court in Eaton County. Standing alongside his daughters and wife, Randall Margraves asked to speak. I would ask you as part of the sentencing to grant me five minutes in a locked room with this demon, he said, gesturing toward Nasser, who has already been sentenced to up to 175 years in prison at an earlier hearing after pleading guilty to molesting young women under the guise of medical treatment. Judge Janice Cunningham refused his request and chastised him for calling Nasser a son of a bitch. There were uncomfortable laughs as Randall asked for a minute alone with him instead. Margraves then bolted towards Nasser, who was seated in an orange jumpsuit nearby. Gasps, cries and shouts filled the courtroom as Margraves was wrestled to the ground and put in handcuffs while Nasser was taken out to safety. What if this happened to you guys, he implored of the court officers as they pulled him out the room. Lead prosecutor Angela Povilaitis told the victims and relatives, I understand Mr. Margraves' frustration but you cannot do this, she said. This is not helping your children. The hearing resumed after a short break, with the judge addressing what she called a scary scene. My heart started beating fast and my legs started shaking, Cunningham said. We cannot react by using physical violence, she said, noting she could not imagine Margrave's pain as a father. Nasser is also serving a 60-year federal term for child pornography convictions. His case has sparked broader outrage after numerous victims accused USA Gymnastics, the sports governing body, and Michigan State University, where Nasser worked, of failing to investigate complaints about him going back years. U.S. Olympic officials have also been criticized by some of the sport's biggest stars, including gold medalists Ali Raisman, Simone Biles, and Michaela Maroney. On Thursday, the police department in Meridian, Michigan, apologized publicly to one victim for declining to press charges against Nasser in 2004 when she reported that he had abused her. The Wall Street Journal also said on Thursday that U.S. Olympic officials did not intervene after being told in 2015 that USA Gymnastics had uncovered possible abuse by Nasser. USA Gymnastics Board of Directors agreed to a demand by the U.S. Olympic Committee that they all resign in the wake of Nasser's sentencing, as did the president and athletic director of Michigan State. The scandal has prompted several investigations into those institutions. If you love your news from one sexy ass robot then like and sub then hit up my big fat bell.